Hi everyone, this is a math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write roots or certs in index form. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. If I have a base, for example, I have a base a raised to a fraction as its power, if I have that as x over y, what this means is my a, this is the index form, my a is the base, my denominator y is the root, and my numerator is the index or the power. So if I write this in the root form, I have the y root, so I have my root and I have my little y here to the base of a and a is raised to the power x. So what I'm going to do is the reverse. In the first example, I have root of 7. To write that in index form, if I have a root without a number written, there's an invisible 2 as shown and any number or variable without an index or whose index is not written, there's an invisible 1 such that I have that as my base, which is 7, raised to my numerator, that's the index, that's 1, over my denominator will be the root, which is the 2. In the second example, I have the third root of 14, or the cube root of 14. If I'm writing that as an index form, I start with my base, which is 14. Not that there's an invisible power of 2 here. And then I have that as the power, which is 1, over the denominator will be the root, which is 3 in this case. In the next example, I have the fourth root of x to the power of 5. So I'm starting with my base, which is x x is raised to the power of 5 and the root which will now be my denominator is 4. In the last example I have 2 multiplying roots of x to the power of 7. Like I mentioned earlier there's an invisible 2 in my root such that I have starting with my base I have x. But note that there's a 2 multiplying my x, so I'm going to write the 2. I'm going to adjust that. I have 2, that's the old number, multiplying my x to the power of my index, that's 7, divided by the root, that's 2. And if I rewrite that, I have it as 2x to the power of 7 over 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.